What is up YouTube and welcome to this episode of the Road to the Show series. I think it's like episode, I think it's episode 11? This is crazy guys. We only have four weeks to the show, five weeks really to Summer Starting Classic. We're in the home stretch guys. The donuts are in our future. You know what the worst part is? It's like National Donut Day is coming up. I haven't been able to celebrate National Donut Day in like five years because I've always been prepping. So, but it's okay, we always celebrate after the show. But guys, we just ran to the grocery store and uh, the worst part is I'm supposed to meet Ricky at the gym at like four o'clock and right now it's 3.30 and I'm like 10 minutes away from my house and I gotta get changed and I'm, we're not gonna get to the gym at four o'clock. And I feel so bad because I'm literally late. I'm one of those guys that's literally late for everything. Um, this is like the fifth time I told Ricky I was gonna be there by a certain time and I'm gonna be like 15, 20 minutes late. I know he's gonna be fuming. But uh, yeah, so we're heading to the gym today with Slick Rick, it's chest day. And uh, yeah, guys, life is good. Like I said, we're four weeks out. I'm feeling great about the physique where I'm at right now. I'm um, back starting to come down a little bit more, which is awesome, like I talked about in the last video. But uh, besides the point, guys, I gotta stop talking, keep driving, because we gotta get to the gym. I'm gonna be super late as it is. So we gotta get off some time. But anyways, I will see you guys at the gym. He's not like you, don't want him to He's more like the river Going stronger When we're alone, there's no you in the picture Isn't how I want it to Slick Rick! What's going on, man? Dude, great to see you, bro. See you, Yo, what do you think of the prep beard, dude? I'm gonna be honest, I really like the beard. Dude, I'm telling you, you guys, it. you keep it dude, it's coming in, man. I'm like lumberjack Matt. You know, I never thought it would actually look good. Like, dude, it's not bad. Beard. It does look pretty good. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Guys, Ricky's been trying to grow a beard for how long now? <laughs> I'm 24, 23 years old, so since, since I was born, I've been trying to grow. If we zoom in really close to his chin, he's got some peach fuzz yeah, coming in. Going, you can see. You so. can, like, this, is, this is a day without shaving. Damn, dude. Damn, bro. <laughs> it's wild, man. So Ricky got me a present. And also, if you guys didn't know this, Ricky is the one that is coming with me to Houston for the Summer Shredding Classic. Um, so we literally went crazy on the last Alpha Elite launch. Dude, look at you, man. Dude, you are so ready to go. All right, right slick, Rick. Close your eyes. All right. Close? Yeah, they're close. All right, close. All right, here you go. Open. Damn, dude. What is that? Is that Alpha Elite? Yeah, I bought it a while ago, man. Bro. I <laughs> dude, thank you so much. Should be here. Bro, this is beautiful. It's pretty cool. I love this in the back. You've never worn this? I do. I wore it once, but remember, I bought this for like seven bucks. Damn. No one bought it. Bro. Went on their for seven thank bucks. you so I much, man. Dude, I appreciate you. Alrighty, guys. So Ricky's already out there warming up, and I figured instead of doing like, like a little voiceover commentary or like an edit today, I'm just gonna walk you guys through like a little in gym commentary for today's chest workout. Just so I got a lot of good stuff planned out, so I kind of want to take you guys through it. And I figured the best way to do it is like personally show you guys. So that is what we're gonna do today. This is like a first on the channel, so I hope you guys enjoy this one. And we're about to get to it right now. Alrighty guys, first working set of the day is this incline bench machine that Slick Rick is modeling right now. We're doing four sets here. We're going a little bit heavier today for eight to 10 reps. Let's go Slick. Alrighty guys, super set number two, I guess exercise number two is gonna be being flat bench dumbbell flies with close grip dumbbell squeeze and press. We're doing four sets of 15 reps each. Exercise number three, we're gonna do this like weird different cut like cable fly variation. I'm not too sure what exactly this is called, but shout out to my boy Matt for showing me this one. So you guys are gonna to wanna to get a flat bench, throw it between the cables here. Start off performing a regular flat bench cable fly, but you guys can keep your knuckles together on the top here. Go up and above your head like this and get a really good stretch. And then you guys come back up, the third is gonna be on your upper pec. And keeping your knuckles together still, you guys are gonna come back down all the way to your belly button right here, and then back up and then separate, and that's all going to be one rep right there. So how this is going to look, guys, is exactly like this. And it freaking kills, man. Just rep this out for as many as you guys can, and when you guys can't do it anymore, just perform regular flies. Exercise number four, we're going to be doing the cable cross over here. We're going to be doing, I don't want to say high to low, but high to mid-level here. Now guys, with this, you want to come up and keep your elbows up like this. I see a lot of people, when they do this, bring them down. Be taking a lot of tension off the upper back there. 
So as you guys come up, elbows up, really focus on bringing your buckets together at like your chin to nose level here. That's gonna keep the max tension on that upper pec there, guys. So we're gonna be doing four sets here, 12 or 15 reps. fifth exercise of the day, and now we're doing low to high cable crossovers, which is going to be hitting that upper chest here. So what you guys are going to want to do is bring the cables together at the belly button level here, and when you guys bring them together, you're going to bring them up like this at the same time. And it's going to be keeping the max focus and tension on the upper pec there. So belly button, and then up. So we're going to be doing three sets here at 12 to 15 reps. the sixth exercise of today. We are doing this decline hammer strength press right now. I'm sorry if you guys can't hear this audio. The music's so loud in here. That's why I love this place. But we did four sets here of 12 to 15 reps. Keeping it light, guys. High volume. Like I said, we're only four weeks out from showtime. Well, your boy's four weeks out from showtime. The high volume chest work today. Muy bueno. Workout is in the books, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed that little like in-gym commentary thing that we did there. It was a ton of fun to make. It was so much easier than making like a voiceover commentary a few days later. Just being in the moment and physically showing you guys and talking to you guys through exactly what I'm doing for that workout was awesome. So definitely expect more of those guys on the channel. Let me know if you guys like those little in-gym commentaries. We're a ton of fun to make, so I'm definitely gonna be making more in the future. Um, but yeah, if you guys wanna try that workout, full workout is in the description below. So definitely give that one a try. Like all Thursday or Friday, I don't know when this video is going out. It's either going out Thursday or Friday. But all later in the week videos, you guys know that I kind of have a talk at the end of it. Every video that I do for the Road to Zero series, I always want to create value in some way, shape, or form for you guys. Um, but with that being the case, guys, last week I put a QA app on the channel that I have linked up right here. And a question was I got during that video was what's the biggest piece of advice I can offer someone in terms of their fitness journey? And that question right there, I got a ton of feedback in the comments of that video about people that are gonna be doing their very first show and they wanted me to offer them pieces of advice for doing their very first men's physique show. And I was like, oh wow, like what would I wanna know the first time that I did this? Like what was the biggest piece of information I wish someone told me? Um, and honestly, if I have three things, guys, I'm gonna make this real quick for you guys. So number one, guys, and this is the number one biggest piece of advice that I can offer someone that is doing their very first men's physique show this year or whenever you guys are watching this, is to stay in your lane. Literally, social media is such a big, powerful tool these days, and it, it really could be the downfall of a lot of things. Um, with this being the case, guys, I know a lot of people that are gonna be doing their very first shows are just looking around social media, and they're looking up other people that are gonna be doing that same show as them. And this can be very detrimental. Just because with this being your very first show, you guys are definitely gonna be struggling a little bit with those that have been doing this for a very long, long, long time. Um, and it definitely can be discouraging when you're, you know, you see your physique and then you're looking at a guy that's doing the same exact show on Instagram that you never met before in your life. So it's kind of creepy right there. But it happens. Like, guys, I, I'm guilty of it too myself. When I did my very first show, I was like literally looking up everyone else that was on Instagram that was like hashtagging and tagging that show that I was doing. And I looked the best I've ever looked in my whole entire life. But I was like looking at guys that have been doing this for like two to three years and I just have that experience and knowledge over me. And it was discouraging because I'm like, wow, I look great, but I don't look like as great as them. Um, so just stay in your lane, guys, and just stay off social media as much as you guys can and just stop comparing yourself to other people. I cannot preach that enough. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Um, guarantee you that this is gonna be the best you've ever looked in your whole entire life, and this is literally gonna be your very first show. So use this as like the foundation and then keep building off of this, guys. So regardless, win, lose, and so forth, just use this very first show as your foundation and just build off that in the future shows. But like I said, it's definitely gonna be the best you've ever looked in your life. It's an awesome, incredible achievement that not many people go through whatsoever. So just enjoy the journey, guys. Stay in your own lane and do not compare yourself to other people. Tip number two is going to be pose, pose, and pose, guys. Literally, I see so many people that go upstage. I literally did the same thing. You work so hard in the gym, you do all the cardio, you do all the dieting, and then you pose a little bit here and there, and you get up on stage, and you're in the spotlights, and you just freeze up like a fish, man. You're like, why did I say a fish? I don't even know why I said a fish. You freeze up like deer in headlights. That sounds much better. Um, but that's the thing, guys. If you pose, the more you practice posing and so forth, the more comfortable you're going to be up on stage. But guys, literally, posing is gonna win you the show. You can have the greatest physique in the world, but if you don't know how to present up there on that stage, you guys are done. So literally practice posing literally every single day. Four weeks out from the show, I'm literally posing every single day. Two times a week, every Sunday and Wednesday, I'll do about 30 minutes of posing, and the rest of that, guys, I'll do about 10 to 15, like literally right before I get in the shower, or when I wake up in the morning, just go through my routine, just, you know, 
this muscle memory, guys. You just wanna go through it, and the more you do it, the more comfortable you're gonna be, and then literally when you guys go up on that stage, you're gonna kill it. Tip number three, guys, to wrap this one up real quick, is going to be enjoy the moment. Literally, when you guys go up there, you're gonna have like, they say you have 60 seconds to go up on stage and hit your quarter turns, your individual posing routine. You guys, let me promise you something, it is literally the quickest 60 seconds of your life, and most of the time, if it is your first show, you're gonna rush through those poses so quickly. That's why I say practice your posing, take your time, but guys, really enjoy the moment. I feel like, like I said, this is my fifth year competing, and I feel like last year was the very first year that I actually really enjoyed the moment. Most of the time, I literally went up there, I was so nervous, I was so scared, I just went through my poses real quick, like 15 to 20 seconds, like literally I was flying through them, and I really never thoroughly enjoyed the moment. You put so much time into this, literally a 10 to 12 week prep, like I'm doing, but I don't know people do way much longer than me, and then you go up there and you're just, you know, you're in the spotlight for like, Literally five minutes between your individual turns and in comparisons, and that's it. And you guys, you know, done pre-judging. You do what you got to do. You come back for finals. Finals are finals. You literally rush on the stage. You get your trophies. Don't get your trophies, and you go home, and that's it. So you guys, just really enjoy the moment. You work so hard for this. You work so hard for this. Literally, like three to five minutes up on stage. Just enjoy it because it literally is going to be the coolest three to five minutes of your life. I promise you that. Just being in the spotlights and just showcasing the hard work that you put into physique. It's absolutely incredible, guys. So just go up there. Smoothly go through your poses, take your time, relax, and just really, 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 really enjoy the moment. And then you guys go off stage and have some delicious burgers and donuts. So life is going to be good. But guys, there's honestly the biggest, you know, top three pieces of advice that I can literally give to anyone that is going to be getting ready for the first show, either this summer, next summer, whatever you guys are watching this video, that is my top three right there. So, with that being the case, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you guys have been enjoying the Road to the Show series. It's been incredible documenting this all for you guys again this year. And literally, I know I said I have a show in four weeks, but I am so freaking excited for that Summer Shredding Classic, guys. Just to be able to take you guys down there. There's so many other YouTubers coming to that. So if you guys are going to that show, you guys are watching this video, please let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I'm trying to do like a little meetup when I'm out there with everyone else that is going to be out there, with YouTube-wise, or Instagram and so forth that reached out to me. But that is gonna be an incredible way to wrap up this incredible series, guys. With the Houston, with Guzman, and Max Tuning, and all those great people at the Summer Shredding Classic. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a really good time. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button if you guys did, and be sure to subscribe. We got daily vlogs every single week leading up to the show in four more weeks. Summer shredding in five more weeks. Life is good, guys. But anyways, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.